Welcome to Inside PTI. In this episode, we're going to talk about high-speed planting of corn. As we talk about high-speed planting, it's important to remember that just speeding up isn't a solution. The complete solution to be able to go a little bit faster has to still maintain planter performance. So that's things like residue managers, maintaining singulation and spacing, making sure that you have good seed to soil contact and your closing is working properly. If you speed up and any of those things go backwards, it's not worth speeding up. So those are the things that have to be right at a traditional speed or at a faster speed to be able to implement high speed planting. Now, why would we even think about going faster? Just for fun? Well, there's, there's a few different reasons. And if you, some are agronomic and some are just personal. You know, one would be if it takes you fewer hours to put your crop in the ground, that's more time in the spring that's available to spend with your family. That's more time that's available to be at kids' ball games uh, or whatever it may be in the spring. The second, which is agronomic and financial, uh, it is because every year there's an optimum planting date for corn. And corn's what we're talking about today. And, and if I plant after that optimum planting date, yield typically goes down. Sometimes we get rained out and we can't plant for two to three weeks. And the difference between planting today versus three weeks from now is significant. And so it's about hitting the ideal planting date to drive yields higher and being equipped, prepared to cover that ground. You know, I, I think about a lot of springs when it's really wet leading up to when we're able to plant. And the best thing we can do is be prepared with our planter to go when we can go. We can't control the weather. We can control how that planter is equipped. To singulate well, to space well, to control emergence, and do all that at the speed we need to go to cover the acres in ideal conditions. So we've been studying high-speed planting for the last three years that Precision Planting has had the PTI farm. And what we found in corn is less than a bushel difference between the different speeds. And so while you say, well, there is some difference there, really from a statistical perspective, a bushel is negligible um, in the plots that we're covering. So what that proves is that with a high-speed equipped planter, we can run four, six, eight, ten, 10, any, wherever in there that we need to run. We can choose the speed that lets us cover the acres per hour and acres per day that we need to run to get our crop in, not run the speed that our planter limits us to. So how do you equip your planter to be able to plant those high speeds? Well, the, the actual device that allows you to speed up while maintaining accurate seed placement is called speed tube. Now, what, what's speed tube? Why, why does that matter? Most planting seasons, they have weather challenges that make it difficult to plant all of your fields in those ideal conditions. So speed tube is a seed delivery system and it allows you to double your planting speed without sacrificing performance. You'll have a sense of accomplishment when the rain comes and your planter is already back in the shed. Now let's talk about some ROI. You know, a lot of times without doing a, a large scale side by side, this category, it's a little bit challenging to have specific studies that show the ROI. You know, we can talk about ROI, but we need to combine a couple studies. So the previous episode of Inside PTI was on corn planting date. And we're going to take corn high speed, which showed across the speeds negligible yield differences. And then we're going to look at corn planting date, which in 2020, our data showed significant yield differences. So if we combine the optimum planting date with minimal differences in the speed, we can look and start to talk about some ROI numbers. So these will be theoretical. Let's just say that we use the 32.3 bushel per acre loss from planting a week later than optimum in 2020. And let's say on an 800 acre corn farm, you plant a third of your acres that week late. So 267 acres, you lose 32.3 bushel per acre on those 267 acres. Let's look at what that would cost. That would be about 8,624 bushels lost, or it would be around $32,340 at $3.75 corn, which is what we're using at the PTI farm for our 2020 cash corn price. So now, if I use a 16 row planter to plant my 800 acres, 267 of them got in late, my planter already controls singulation and downforce and all that well. I have V-drive delta force 2020, and then I wanna add a speed tube to every row. It would cost me around $16,000 on the 16 row. If you look at it, it, it's costing me 32,000 plus to plant a third of my acres late. So let's say we can plant all our acres in the optimum time frame. We're gonna pay for the speed tube install and the cost of those, that product in half a year, all right? And then beyond that, we're gonna have quite a bit of profitability the rest of the year and in future years. So you extrapolate that out over five years, we're talking significant dollars of return for being able to hit the optimum window 
without sacrificing yield from speeding up. So today's inside PTI tip is if you struggle to get your acres planted in that optimum window that provides optimum yield, highest yield, highest profitability, then consider putting speed tube on your planter along with other precision planting components to get emergence right so that you can get your planter back in the shed with all your fields planted before those later season rains come and limit your yield potential. Thanks for joining us on Inside PTI today. If you have questions about high speed planting, feel free to email us at insidepti at precisionplanning.com. Or as always, your local expert is a precision planning premier dealer. Talk to them about their experience and other customers' experience with high speed planting. We'll see you on the next episode of Inside PTI.